Hey guys, welcome to another van build video. In this episode, we're gonna be working on our drawer slides. One of the things we knew from the get-go is that we wanted to be able to bring our mountain bikes and our gravel bikes on the road with us. Building the bed frame, we accounted for how much height we were going to need. We decided we're going to build two trays, uh, one for the mountain bikes, one for the gravel bikes, uh, so that it's ease of use to get at which bikes that we want to get to. The items that we're going to use are heavy duty drawer slides by Folterer. Um, and then to mount our bikes to the trays, we're going to use Rocky Mounts, uh, the low ball lock for our gravel bikes since they have a quick release skewer and uh, the Rocky Mounts drive shaft for our mountain bikes since they have a through axle. Getting the handlebar as close to the doorway as possible because that's something that we're going to have to be able to pull it out of the garage. This, where our bed frame ends, is going to be a wall straight down. Uh, so currently, Katie's back tire on her mountain bike uh, is coming into that spot. So you want to definitely make sure you can close the door as well. Um, and I got a good inch uh, b before my gravel handlebars would hit. And because they are the furthest forward, we know the mountain bikes will be able to fit as well. Uh, so there'll be no issues there. Busting out that tape measure and kind of figuring where the pedals are. I'm not as worried about it if they're hanging out a little bit over the edges, as long as we have them far enough spaced apart. So I think I'm going to make a 20 inch drawer for each one. Right, guys well got the trays cut the 20 inch pieces of birch ply and then I used some cabinet grade uh, three inch it's like two and a half inch uh, but it's considered three inch boards um, and that's what I'll have lined for the sides and the ends we're losing daylight I'm going to call it a night start getting things cleaned up and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and pocket jig all the edges and put some wood glue on them and get everything assembled good morning guys one of the first things I wanted to make sure to do is find out where the holes were, are going to be drilled into the side of the side rail and because I didn't want the pocket holes to be in that so I just lined up where I think the, the drawer will be and then tried to go through the bare metal spots where there's no holes to be drilled. So I'm going to have five pocket holes on each rail and uh, that'll hopefully with wood glue as well have a solid uh, connection point. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and translate that to all of the side rails. So my plan is to go around and clamp all four corners so everything lines up with the edges of the wood. Before clamping it down and then screwing them in, I'm going to use this Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue. I've used it in past videos. So I have half inch ply on the bottom and these are three quarter inch um, uh, like cabinet grade boards on the sides. I'm gonna use one inch screws. Um, and then for that back board, because it's three quarter inch into three quarter inch wood, I'm gonna use a one quarter inch uh, Craig screw. There we have it. We are done. Got those all drilled in. I guess a little pro tip, if you haven't worked with wood glue before, if you have a damp cloth, it'll just clean that up uh, pretty nicely. And uh, sometimes it even spreads it within the uh, groove uh, so that it works out pretty well. <sighs> so after all that measuring, I didn't take into account how much extra space we were going to have to put under the trays to be able to have them slide freely. So my gravel bike saddle is uh, a little bit too high. So I'm going to probably get uh, a quick release collar so that I can lower my seat every single time. Um, which was something I was trying to fight 
uh, <laughs> only because I, I just didn't want to have the hassle of doing it. Um, but it shouldn't be a problem to be able to do that. I did order some kind of um, bed liner paint uh, so that these would be fully waterproof and enclosed. Uh, and that way we'd be able to hose them out with all the mud that, you know, comes from mountain bike. I mean, just look at Katie's bike uh, from the last trip that we got out there. So i got to wait for that to get delivered. I might, before then, go ahead and sand uh, the, the drawers all down and all the uh, side pieces all down. So, got the paint in the mail. It's Duraback. It's a polyurethane protective coating. It's kind of like a um, bed liner, but it's smooth. Uh, so hopefully it will... Uh... Two days later, and it is not dry. Um, I cannot at all recommend Duraback. You know, maybe I messed up with prep or did something I shouldn't have, or maybe I just got a bad can. I called their customer service. They have done nothing to help me out. They said they were gonna to have to call me back for the issue I have. You know, it's with COVID-19, maybe there would be a reason their customer service is backed up. Uh, maybe they're not manning the phones with as many people, you know, laying off people that they had to. Uh, I have no idea, but I am 100% disappointed. You can do he it. Wants to do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> can you try? Come on. Come on. Hop up there. <laughs> all right. We did it. All sanded down. Those dang hiccups. Spent two days basically getting it down to this point. So it is nice and smooth. Um, basically, the whole surface is uh, the same roughness. So if we were to go ahead and get a uh, primer, I think that will take pretty well to it. Uh, so I think we'll use that first as a first coat. And then uh, the guy at Ace Hardware had mentioned um, this outdoor paint that is supposed to work really well and be able to hose off and all that stuff. It's supposed to be for like, you know, paint on the siding and uh, they have it in a matte black color. So uh, I think we're gonna pick that up, um, have the nice matte black on both drawers. Um, I'll probably paint this one first to see that it works all right. And then uh, from there, uh, we'll go ahead and get the other one done. Success. All painted. Originally I was thinking we'd put them dead center. I'm kind of wanting to scoot them over to the side uh, so that we have, maybe we could build some kind of cupboard, cabinet, drawer, something up here uh, where it will just give us a little bit more space. Maybe we can get totes in there for camping equipment or outdoor equipment. <music> three side rails. Uh, these are what will go into the van, construction adhesive and then pocket hold in. For the pocket holes, I want to make sure that they won't interfere with any of the connection points on the slide um, because it takes away so much wood that would be taking away wood that the screw could be holding into. So I think I'm going to do four, four pocket holes per side uh, and I'm going to stagger them every other. And then that means we'll have eight screws going, you know, opposite directions into the floor uh, to hopefully keep this in solid. And then that construction adhesive will just help on top of it. All right, there we go. Four on that side. Four on that side. 
So they're staggered, so there's one on the very end, and then on the other side it's at the very end. Um, and they line up perfectly where those screws um, land right in between where these all are. So uh, should be good to go. I think it'll be a nice solid connection. Good morning, guys. Morning. So, time to get the bike trays installed. We have uh, the two trays. We have these side rails. Um, we have to figure out the placement with the um, locking drawer slides. <laughs> so I think we figured out placement. Um, we want this as far left as we can go. Uh, one of the problems is we got to put in pocket holes. Um, and so we got to have it far enough away from the wheel well that we can fit those pocket holes in. So basically it's just a little bit off center of the door lock latch, which center is actually quite a ways over here. Um, so yeah, I think that should uh, be a good placement. Now we just got to figure out um, how we're going to put the construction adhesive and get the screws in and keep everything straight. So see what we can do. attaching the outside rails into the ground, into the ground, <laughs> into the floor. And then we extended the, what is this called? Extended the Slide. slider and attached it at the appropriate height onto the tray. And now we're gonna attach the slider to the rails. Is that, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're figuring out placement for our gravel bikes, trying to get them as far over on the driver's side as possible. Uh, the main thing being where the handlebars come out the door, and then the mountain bikes will come next. Uh, Katie's will be in the middle and hopefully we can get the handlebars to clear in, a, in the right spot uh, so that we have a decent, uh, you know, being able to pull the drawer in and out. tell you how excited I am to have this project done. That was a project that spanned numerous weeks. <laughs> um, lots of moving these trays in and out as we worked on other things in the van. Uh, as you can probably see by uh, the start of this video to now. <laughs> I was extremely worried we wouldn't be able to uh, make it sturdy enough with the factory floor that we have, but uh, I don't think there's really any issues. Uh, once the uh, construction adhesive dries, I think I might try to sit on the end of one just to see if it feels like there's going to be a little bit of give. But uh, that's something I can definitely update in the future uh, if anybody's interested in knowing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit that bell if you want to be notified when we post new content. Uh, we're quite a few episodes into this van build, but we're still rolling, so uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye, guys.